Hi, I'm Dr. Christine Zolnick, a disease ecologist at Long Island University, Brooklyn. I'm gonna talk about research opportunities both in my research lab and in class-based research experiences for students in the biology department. My research in disease ecology focuses on spread and distribution of pathogens. My work spans a number of disciplines, including microbiology, ecology, and public health. And I collaborate with New York State Department of Health on a number of projects. There are a lot of opportunities for students that are interested in biological, environmental, and health-related research topics. Most of the students in my lab have worked on mosquito and tick-borne disease research. We're interested in examining how environmental and microbial factors affect where these diseases spread to and how to determine risk to humans. For example, two of my students have recently been examining the internal microbes inside black-legged ticks, which are responsible for transmitting a number of pathogens, including the agents of Lyme disease. They have used molecular techniques and field-based collections to conduct their studies. I have another student working with mosquito breeding sites to determine if bacteria in these sites influence which species survive. She's using microbial techniques that she learned in the introductory microbiology class at LIU to grow bacteria from these breeding sites. She's then used molecular techniques to identify these bacteria. Through collaborations with the United States Department of Agriculture, I have a student working on an urban ecology project investigating pigeon ectoparasites. As you can see in this slide, there's extensive variation in both pigeon and lice coloration, and we're investigating whether this variation is due to the pigeon's ability to remove lice that don't match their own colors. He has been using photographic image capture and analysis for this project. In addition to my research program, I teach microbiology courses. These courses provide students with a background in microbiology concepts and experience with technical methods for use in clinical and research settings. My courses also include small research-based projects for students to start getting them acquainted with research techniques. I also teach research-based classes where students spend the entire course conducting their own research project. Students learn how to design and conduct an experiment, and they develop skills in critical thinking, data analysis, and science communication. These courses are excellent opportunities for students that want to gain research experience, but don't have the time to commit to a year-long research project. This semester, I'm teaching a course where students are identifying antibiotic-producing bacteria with the goal of finding new antibiotics. I have also co-taught a research-based class in insect ecology with another biology professor, Dr. Tim Leslie. Students in this class spent two days at a research station collecting data before processing and analyzing their samples throughout the semester. They then had the opportunity to present their data at LIU's research symposium in the spring. I hope that this presentation provided you with helpful examples of research and classes within the biology department at LIU Brooklyn.